I think the generational um, exchange needs to have a light shone on it so that we can respect is a two-way street, so that we can respect each other. Um, judging from the sounds that I hear in the playgrounds these days and the curse words, intermixed with all the joy and the loveliness that I love to hear and that youthful ex exuberance, there is also this really hardcore thing that is happening when a five-year-old will tell a teacher and or their parents to F off. And I just look and I think, oh, we cannot expect children to have respect if we don't respect them. And the po one point that was made today um, that I try and adhere to, which is I'm waiting to learn something from you. I think you have something really cool to show me. And then, oh, that's kind of like, so is that sort of like when I was doing postering with sticking posters and finally making enough money to hire the kid with the bicycle and the bucket of glue that would go and slip, slip those posters, that's social media now. And so first it's sort of, and then there's that dawning on the other side of, oh, yeah, I guess. If there wasn't this, what was there? If there wasn't this, what was there? Lamp posts, construction siding, that's what we did. But I think as elders, if we are calm and open, and as we receive what they are offering to us with curiosity, they in turn are fed by our curiosity, which then has them want to dig a little deeper into what they're doing, and also opens up that hearing that if someone's near someone's parents' age, they don't want to hear anything about them.